1901, Baden Powell returned to England a decorated war hero. He had learned that England was having a particular problem with delinquent boys causing mischief and mayhem throughout the region. He also found that a military book he had written called Aids to Scouting had become popular reading to this age group. This led to an idea of mobilizing these gangs of boys into a challenging yet noble pursuit. He rewrote his book to Scouting for Boys. And in 1907, he took 20 boys to Brown Sea Island for the first summer camp and the birth of Boy Scouting began. In 1909, a Chicago newspaper man named William Boyce found himself lost in the fog in London. Standing under a street lamp, considering his options, he was met by a youth in a scout uniform. The youth offered his help and led Mr. Boyce to his destination. Boyce offered the young man a tip. The youth said, a scout does not take money for doing a good turn. Boyce was impressed and found out from this unknown scout about Baden-Powell and the scouting movement. The next day, Boyce met with Baden-Powell, who loaded him up with scouting material. Upon his return to the U.S., Boyce brought in a host of experts, Daniel Carter Beard, Ernest Thompson Seton, and an attorney named James E. West to take the leadership. With Baden-Powell's support, the Boy Scouts of America was born January 8, 1910. In July of 1916, a group of 50 prominent businessmen met in Portland at the Benson Hotel with National Field Commissioner H.D. Cross. This group was very impressed, and it was said that the Boy Scout movement is one to control the gregarious instinct and hold it together by truth and honor, rather than mischief and depredation. W.C. Cotton was named the first president on the spot, and James Brockway became the first scout executive as the Portland Council was incorporated, consisting of 75 scouts. C.S. Jackson, publisher of the Oregonian, donated two office rooms for the first council service center. In 1918, C.C. Colt became the council president and would continue in that post for 25 years. In 1918, the Salem Council was founded, and in 1926 changed its name to the Cascade Area Council. Kent Shinadier was leased from Mount Hood National Forest near Wanham Lake, and a scout lodge was built to support the camp. By 1925, the Portland Council had grown to 2,267 youth. Impressed with the growth, James Brockway was promoted to the National Council of Scouting, and George Obertoifer, affectionately called Chief Obi, took the role as Portland's second scout executive, a post he would hold for 30 years. Also, in 1925, the Shinadier Lodge had burned down, and with the help of businessman Aubrey Watsick, Chief Obi entered into agreement to purchase a new property from the Chamberlain family on the Pacific coast near Sand Lake. The total cost was $25,000. Then known as the Camp at Sand Lake, it would be named later as Camp Meriwether. On March of 1925, the Millard family gave 320 acres on Eagle Creek to be used for troop camping. In 1932, the first Cub Scout pack was approved in Garibaldi, Oregon. And by the mid-1930s, Cub Scouting started to grow throughout the council. The Cooper family allowed for scouting to use its 240-acre tract of land, monitored by a group of Yamiel County trustees. In 1933, saw the first name change to the Portland Area Council. As the Mount St. Helens Council of four southwest Washington counties was merged, and as scouting grew in Clackamas, Yamhill, Washington, and Clatsop counties. Also, in 1936, the Mid-Columbia Deschutes Council merged into the Portland Area Council. Though the Great Depression hit hard, and Camp Millard was used to house transient boys, the Portland Area Council was the third largest council in the country.